200 players were invited to the most realistic Titanic simulation ever done. With every single room at a one-to-one -one scale of the real Titanic, this ocean liner will have more than enough space to accommodate our prisoners. Yeah, that's right, because the passengers aren't aware that there is a massive prison at the bottom of the Titanic. Just like in real life, if you die, you cannot respawn. Welcome aboard to the Titanic Experiment. On day one, I noticed nobody was boarding the Titanic. So could you explain to the viewers why there's like no players online right now? Apparently we're missing some crew members. It turns out passenger boarding wouldn't begin until day four. But why is this? Well, I guess you're in for one thrilling adventure. Alright, here they come. Whoa, look at this! This whole place was fenced off and had guards looking for anyone attempting to leave the area. But why are they even here? And what even is this place? In an effort to avoid complete chaos, the leaders of this operation told everyone to sit down for an important announcement. Take a seat, take a seat, yeah. please be patient, and we'll be with you in a moment. I would first like to introduce myself. I am Peachy, and I am the lead ambassador here at Visionary Holdings. You may be confused, and that is completely normal. You were sent here because we needed your help. The workers were informed that they would be helping out with the company's mining operation, and after the fact, they will get their reward. Oh, you gotta Very proud of all of these amazing workers here. I see they got a line going on over here. It's actually pretty well organized. Hopefully nothing changes that. Alrighty, it looks like they are arriving to the mines. As you can tell, there is a gigantic amount of gold within these mines. So no wonder this company wants some extra hands, right? Jesus, in a gold oh, mine. Question. Now I need you all to collect as much gold as you can. The workers decided to uh, lighten up the mood. Are you ready? What? It's, it's a tradition. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy, diggy. The sound got so distracting that the guards were unable to communicate effectively. The CEO of this operation, who goes by the name of Carl Crafts, was extremely concerned. But they continued. 99 yeah. bottles of beer on the wall, 99 <laughs> bottles of beer. As I flew further down the mine, I found a small group that had already found diamonds on this cross. They were beginning to wonder if they are prisoners rather than workers. There's a good chance we're being used by these people. We're just fibble miners. But what's next? When I got an opinion of another worker, he was actually quite delighted. Well, so far it's quite uh, nice. It's uh, nice to see all the people unquestionable for now. A player by the name of Unlucky Cookie was actually very lucky because they were assigned farming duty. This is one of the easiest jobs you could have. I'm loving my job. Well, that's fantastic. And the singing continues. <laughs> it was time to bring the gold back down to camp. The workers would be camping out for the night until it was time for day two. Uh -huh. 
Day two was the first day we started to see accusations being made. You see, a guard by the name of Deadline Green was accused of planning a revolt. Carl Crafts didn't want to risk it, so he decided to go ahead and teach him a lesson of solitary confinement. Hopefully tomorrow you'll have a little bit more of a company spirit. The workers were promised that after today's work they will then be rewarded. But this did not stop multiple escape attempts and highly suspicious activity. Before sunrise, one of the new farmers sneaked past the fence. I heard, I saw you. Where'd you go? Oh my god, she just walked right past him. He waited until dawn. Oh, is he running? Oh, he's on the run. Ah, here they come. <laughs> No! No, the water's not water. Uh. You better come back here. Uh. Well, that didn't work out too well, but this won't be the only escape attempt today. The legendary singing crew led by Is Kevin were up to no good. They were plotting a distraction attempt. We're about to be dwarves and we're gonna dig holes. But all workers were called up to the surface and were told to get in a single file line. Oh Everyone, God. could you please come up towards the surface? Oh. I'm going to be escorting you down towards the base. Kevin, if you could go first very kindly. This process was to attempt to catch any workers carrying contraband or stolen handcuffs. And very quickly, somebody was actually pulled to the side for questioning. Once you guys are cuffed and then uncuffed, you're free to go down to the camp. Hello. Somebody is up to no good here. Uh, yeah, we don't talk about it. Hello. Hey, um, hey, Krish, can I actually, can you like step aside really quick? I was told that you were handing out stuff and that you had some things in your inventory. Uh, yeah, I have some reds though. Nah, I wouldn't do nothing like that. Alright, you can head back down to the camp. It was time to pull the trigger. The professional singers created a distraction about Taco Bell. I'll, I'll make a distraction. Oh, guys, holy cow. Did you guys hear about the story about the dude who actually, like, successfully heisted Taco Bell? Eight years ago. What? And, like, a taco gun? And shot burritos. Oh, he's running. Well, this is intense. By the way, this is a massive jungle. If he escapes, it's going to be one long journey. Oh, this doesn't look good. Duvid was quickly sent over to a prison cell on the boat. Why were you sent here? I'm just curious. Oh, uh, one guard found me in the other side of the sea. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. With contraband piling up, Carl Kraft decided it was time to reveal the reward. This would hopefully regain some trust. Alrighty, here they go. This has been a long wait. On the way towards the reward, Is Kevin was desperately attempting to get Duvid free. You arrested an innocent man. And it worked. If you could stay with the rest of the group, we would very much appreciate that. I will do my best, sir. This is a $10 million island mansion. They will be resting well, with 20 luxury rooms, multiple pools, a boxing ring, and some other surprises. This place is nice. Wow, this is so nice. I present to you, The Feast. You've all done amazing work today. Very proud of you all, very proud of you. And as your reward, we'll make sure we've got some food for you very soon. Doing, doing a good job. We're going back to the mines tomorrow for one more day, but you're all doing amazing. Well, that's, most of us are farmers here. This, this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good way to end the day. Whew, they have no idea what's coming. What would we do with a drunken sailor? What would we do with a drunken sailor? What would we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises early in the morning. 
We care about you deeply. We want to make sure that you are safe and also that we are all getting very rich together. The workers were told that they will all be heading back onto the boat for the remaining work. But some interesting stuff happened on the way. Multiple workers and even guards were looking around for ways to escape as they were heading towards the boat. <laughs> Is this guy gonna miss the boat? I'm surprised nobody even notices this. If you thought this was daring, I kid you not, there were two miners exploring the mines. When Carl Crafts arrived, they told him that they were trapped, and he believed it. Help! Hello? Help! Hello? Help. Hello? I've definitely I've made an error. I've been stuck in there for so oh, long. God, I think I'm stuck as well. We got stuck and we didn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for being patient with that. But eventually, everyone made it to the boat. This, my friends, is where things really get interesting. After a day's journey at sea, the boat arrived to its destination. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We are very excited to show you all the luxuries and amenities we have <laughs> in our boat. Hold up a moment. Are these even our workers? The workers are still on this boat over here. So then, who are these guys? Wait, why don't I just ask? I got a question, so who are you? I am Ish, head of security aboard this magnificent vessel. Now, when I digged further into the footage, I caught something very notable. We're able to operate thanks to our sponsors at Visionary Holdings to mitigate our recent financial difficulties. So, Visionary Holdings partnered with a luxury shipping line? I think I may know where this is heading. Now, with that being said, first class, follow me. The rest of you, follow my assistant here. I see they're doing a health inspection over here, but first class doesn't even have to do a health inspection, which I believe is accurate in history. Oh yeah, right. Speaking of history, this is the architect of the Titanic. Well, there's a reason he actually plays this role in the experiment. He knows literally everything about the Titanic. Watch this. All right, the captain is gonna be hiding in B89. Let's see how long it takes him to find this room. All right, here he goes. Bro, it's been like 10 seconds. Oh my god. He also knows his history. He went to go help with the lifeboats that were still left, but the captain jumped overboard. Holy crap. <laughs> First, second, and third class were all led over to their own rooms, some nicer than others. Oh, I thought the rooms would be a little bigger. Hey, at least there's enough space for one person in this room. But as much as I like showing you guys lighthearted moments, beneath the Titanic is where the rooms are questionable. Is this really where this is going? Well, I'm afraid so. The mansion was such a powerful trick that they actually regained loyalty. It quickly dawned on them that this is indeed a prison. I oh, see a pri I see a row of prison cells up ahead, so. I'm oh, under They kept saying that we're, you know, people with jobs and prisoners. stuff, but I think we're actually prisoners. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. This does not go well. Carl Crafts had some explaining to do. Firstly, I'd like to say we are very, very proud of the work that you've done today. We've got all the jobs done. You've done fantastic. But while we work on your release from this fantastic prison. work environment that we've provided, not a prison, it is a facility. Behind you are the cells. When I hit this cells. button, cells. Not, not cells. he made it abundantly clear that if he hits the red button, all workers must return to their cell units. And if he hits the green button, they may continue work. 
With a major change in events, the workers had no choice but to comply. Otherwise, they knew the outcome wouldn't be in their favor. They were immediately sent over to the coal mines. Their job would consist of mining coal and bringing the coal across the entire facility to continue to power the Titanic. However, none of the workers know that they are on the Titanic. They can only speculate. The professional singers immediately rallied up nearly every worker to build furnaces under the mines. Wait, are you guys serious? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Shh. You see, many workers still had leftover gold in their inventory this entire time. They began to craft golden armor, golden apples, and even stone swords. Meanwhile, not a single guard was in the area. This is because they were dealing with a worker by the name of Armadura who was not giving up alleged contraband. As you can see here, he's holding on to the diamond sword. As the workers were finishing up, a player by the name of Unknown Ethereal reported the entire incident to Peachy. Peachy and the others immediately went over to the mines. You can go. Once you get full gold, make sure to don't wear all the full gold. One minute, then destroy minute. all the furnaces and everything that, that's in there. I need a fresh pick. Uh, All right, come uh, with uh, us. Got a runner. What? Kevin. Yo. No, don't worry. Yeah, uh, Peachy, oh. we yeah, actually we had we another we idea we thought would be maybe a little bit more persuasive. Oh, dear. Into the room. My mind keeps searching, but my heart decides. Huh? Oh, they're taking his friend, too. But wait, it turns out PK convinced them to cancel Kevin's death sentence. Here, you can take the golden apple back. Silent speaks under our feet. Uh, can we uncuff Kevin? This is indeed surprising, but he took Is Kevin up to what they call the luxury rooms. This is where we keep people who have been more cooperative. His friend saved his life, and because of their honesty, they got to enjoy these beautiful rooms. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Oh, I, I forgot to shower. <laughs> oh, something's happening downstairs. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Carl Crafts decided a public example needed to be made. I want you all to be aware yeah, can anyone cuff me? I'm gonna die. Can anyone cuff me? of what happens to no. people. No, it wasn't done. Yo, Thunder, how's it going up here? It's it's going pretty well, the ship's uh, handling. I hope we don't really run into any obstacles. All right, here he comes. Oh my god, oh my god, there's an iceberg. There's an iceberg. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> okay, I'll admit I was in on that one. But you might be wondering, what is even going on in the upper levels of the Titanic? <laughs> we got Shrek over here just enjoying the sun. <laughs> I also wanted to see how First Class was doing. How's it going? It's going okay, but the sound of these miserable filths downstairs just... It sends me back to the cavemen times. There was only one major complaint. We had reports of animal abuse on the server. The dogs couldn't even fit into the kettle room. Apparently some pets actually died. This was because of entity cramming. So you think they should fire the guy that's running this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is he a stalker? One of the prison guards was actually secretly exploring the Titanic. Hi. Uh, just trying to figure out how to get back. 
Cool. You're, know, just, you're just kind of lurking around, there. checking out <laughs> yeah, what's, what they're hiding up here. That's fair. That's fair. However, a worker by the name of Cyber Cynicald was also exploring the Titanic. While no guards were looking, he simply sneaked right by and went up a suspicious ladder. For whatever reason, he didn't take off his jumpsuit. He began making friends with random passengers, even storming hell, who you may recognize from another experiment. Yo, what's up? The Sultan is back in luxury this time. Storming Hell is no easy opponent. But when you've got nothing, you've got nothing to lose. So what do you think about Cyber? Well, um... I really don't have an opinion on him. Nobody really judged him at all, which I found surprising because Cyber Cynicald's intentions are much deeper than it appears. It turns out he wanted to build a community. You see, many prisoners and workers were splitting up into different groups, which Cyber thought would lead to eventual chaos. So his ultimate solution was to unite all workers under one grand alliance. Every worker would be able to to cast their own vote to elect a leader. He called it Cyber Syndicate. My syndicate will unite people from all walks of life. I believe we will only get out of here if we all work together. That begs the question though, how do you even enter or exit the prison? This smokestack right here is heavily guarded 24 seven and no one on the upper levels are allowed to know why. As you can see, it would be quite difficult for a worker to enter the smokestack, but they must keep it guarded 24 seven. If I fly over here, you can see the armory, a contraband dump and executive offices. For example, the CEO's office. You can even see his paintings of the Titanic. There's also this button right here. You do not want to know what this does, but I'm sure you'll find out soon. All right, it's time to wake up. A whole new wave of workers have arrived. Fresh meat. Uh, would anyone yeah. like something to eat? All workers were sent over to the cafeteria. Well, fortunately, this isn't too chaotic yet. But a player by the name of I Am Evergreen tried to abuse the system by getting unlimited free food. He did this by sitting at multiple tables and then went with the table groups to get more food. Carl Crafts eventually got a little suspicious about him. Slight danger mouse, I Am Evergreen. If you could. Hello. <laughs> He caught on, he caught on. By the way, definitely keep an eye on I Am Evergreen. He totally didn't self-destruct the entire Death Star in a previous experiment. Yeah, totally not. They also found this cat wandering the cafeteria. I myself was very curious on where it came from, but we won't comment on how it got down here. Now that they were replenished, it was time to introduce the game variable. Looks like all of you are very well fed. I thought maybe we could have a little bit of a celebration. Maybe we can play a game. Sure, sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Everyone was forced to line up in a single file line directed towards a mysterious hallway. And here they come. This is not what I was expecting. Welcome to the first of three games. In this game, everyone will get a golf ball and a putter. And if they don't get the ball in a hole within seven tries, they are out. The first contestant had a disadvantage because they had everyone watching them. The pressure is on. Here they go. Looks like it's stuck in the sand. Oh, they're getting close to seven. Nice, a par of five. Now, there are many techniques like critting the ball, which will make it go much further. We'll see if they find out. Oh, 
This guy is definitely out. Agent? I don't even know why he's trying. This guy is 64 okay. attempts. Look at this. He's trying to hide it. Woo! Boom! It turns out, is Kevin is actually a professional mini golfer? All right, we have five or six people that have made it to the end. We're getting down to the wire. But of course, right as this was about to happen, chaos ensued. A player by the name of Hound Fury started a massive fight. Uh, Carl, where is he? One of the guards quickly ran over to get Carl. Here he comes. Carl arrived just in time to stop the fighting. He then escorted them back over to the prison. Hound Fury was then sent to solitary confinement. This would hopefully teach him a lesson. The last hole could be any of these four options right here. If you guess incorrectly, you are out. Even though Is Kevin was the only winner, he refused to take the prize without bringing the other finalist with him. Carl Crafts ultimately decided this was okay, but somebody saw the prize as a distraction and a perfect opportunity to sharpen up their plan. He goes by the name of Mistlights. You see, there is an entire group planning to escape with one condition. Their leader, Miss Lights, keeps all of the gold to himself, and they are the only ones who get out of here alive. They wanted no risk of other workers betraying them. Miss Lights wanted to be a leader behind closed doors and hired other workers to be a proxy for his agenda. So you have some new armor here. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. What? <laughs> Uh, so we're not showing anything. Uh -oh, nothing's happening here. Their first order of business would be to eliminate potential eavesdroppers. As you can see, there's only one guard here. And soon there's going to be zero because they're killing him now. And there is the leader. They are blocking off his only exit. Craft Ninja killed him? Oh. <laughs> a guard was murdered. This resulted in a prison lockdown. Oh, it looks like somebody actually is not at the meeting right now. I'm trying to sneak back. One of our valued guards has been slaughtered. Tension was rising quickly, but funny enough, this could have all been prevented. Is Kevin and PK tried to report the suspicious activity to Mock Blank himself. Mock Blank simply ignored their report. I guess you could say he blanked it. But we really could start to see a rivalry forming between Miss Lights and his goons against Is Kevin and the Professional Singers. This is precisely because Miss Lights saw the Professional Singers as a threat to their escape plan. And because of this, objective number two was about to commence. I think the only solution here is violence. Violence it is. Except that he's on the run. was over until another one of Miss Light's goons did this. I just need to see his face. I can't remember names. It's this one right here. No! Kevin! Oh. Kevin? Uh, Kevin? But of course, this was all a part of Miss Light's plan to flip it on the professional singers. Carl Crafts was not falling for this, so Miss Light's quickly informed Kreesh to launch Plan B. And it happened fast. Creech? 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 Creech?
Is he gonna kill Carl? <laughs> Let's just say it's going to be one interesting day. Who is your leader? If I tell you, you will kill them. All I can tell you is that when you kill their leader, it will be chaos. There will be an attempted chaos. There will not be chaos. I will control it. What do I need to do, TJ, to get the information out of you? Promise that I live. I promise. The leader. I don't know if I can do it. <gasps> Carl identified a first class member by the name of Qualls Wonders who witnessed the incident. The prison security swarmed him. Oh, wait, are they coming after him? What are they doing? <laughs> This was indeed a kidnapping case. They ended up escorting him all the way down to the prison. But someone had already reported the entire incident to the Titanic security team, otherwise known as Ghost Starlines. Qualls Wonders is all the way down here. And there they are. Back off, you guys aren't supposed to be here. But before they knew it, it was too late to handle this peacefully. What the heck? This would be a grave mistake because it resulted in a full on battle. Oh, he's on the way. Stop! Stop! You what is this all about? Chill out. As the situation de-escalated, Carl Crafts came down to offer Ish an invitation to their next game. He was open to the idea, but this whole chain of events would not go unnoticed. Carl Kraft's reputation has been under assault ever since he has been threatening his own workers and in some cases, ending their lives. Players were beginning to question his true motive, because while it was obvious that he had ill intent, some players felt that it was more than just bad intentions. And as a result, work was happening less often, and workers, dare I say prisoners, were in their cell units far more often. Even his own guards were questioning his own leadership. The lead ambassador, who once was Carl's most loyal assistant, was now plotting against him. While Carl wasn't around, she led Is Kevin out of his cell unit over to the mines. I don't feel safe anymore, and I don't like what's going on, so I want to know what you're doing. Kevin's concerns about his own safety were becoming clear, but she promised she would aid their escape plan. Is Kevin and the professional singers were well aware that players wanted them dead, so they began seeking information from Peachy about who is behind this whole operation. And if they didn't find answers soon, their life was at risk. Yes, that's because they'll be playing a massive game of Marco Polo! This'll be interesting. Whoever loses will have severe consequences. Alright, Is Kevin is now Marco. Run! Marco! Polo! Marco! 
Polo. We started to see most players swimming across the entire map. I guess most people don't play Marco Polo in a pool this big. His Kevin cannot see very far at all because he's currently Marco, so he has blindness. Marco! Uh. <laughs> he's not even saying Polo. Oh, he's it. I began to notice most guards were actually missing. This was because Peachy called them over to a private meeting. Carl assumed it was because of something happening in the prison. He didn't know any better. But boy, was he wrong. As it turns out, they were leaving the prison. And they were meeting at the Grand Staircase. Welcome everyone, I have become aware of the recent drama, and of course, the mysterious death of TJ Plays. I am doubtful that we can find a diplomatic solution to this. Let's keep this partnership between our security private for now. I invite you all to join us in the grand opening of Taiwan's Mexican restaurants. Let's go! The prison security was now working directly with the Titanic security. Their goal was to create a work-life balance for the prisoners so that they could truly be considered real workers. But they would need to remove Carl Crafts from the prison in order to do this. Would this meeting truly be enough to convince Carl Crafts' own security to revolt against him? That will be the defining question. But in the meantime, a player by the name of Taiwan had an abundance of steak, so he decided to rent a dining location for the grand opening of Jose's Mexican Grill. Hello everyone, we're here because the last restaurant I opened was unfortunately destroyed. We are selling from steaks to a steak. This restaurant is quite popular, but I wonder how Marco Polo is going. Oh, is Kevin is still Marco? There's literally only 10 seconds left. He had been defeated. His future was clouded with uncertainty. We're all gonna go back and jump into our cells, except for Kevin, oh. who oh, I need no. to stand in front of the cells. That was the scariest game of Marco Polo I've ever played in my entire life. Carl would now reveal is Kevin's punishment in a private location. I'm glad that none of you have to find out what oh, dire no. consequences means. What are you doing out? Fellas, get back in your cage. Carl suspiciously led him over to a dining location in the Titanic. Welcome to a higher plane of living. Whoa. Yes, sir. This is what you get for winning Marco Polo. Wait, I thought... Such dire consequences, is it not? Meanwhile, the entire prison was thinking he was being killed. Carl said that Kevin had secured his spot as player number one in the final game. Kevin was not told what this number actually means. But everyone would find out on the following day. that one guard who was accused of planning a revolt on day two? Well, he decided just to ditch everybody and go off on his own, and he would be considered our first successful escape. But where even are we? Let's just zoom out here. Uh, okay, so it's a boat icon. Oh wait, let's zoom out a bit more. Uh-huh. So, according to my calculations, the Titanic is traveling across two different hemispheres. I guess we'll see if Deadline finds anything out here.
I want to reveal to all of you the final game. It's been a blessing. It has. It has been a blessing. Oh, I promised myself I wouldn't get emotional, but but we built a real bond together, didn't we? Yeah. We sure did. Sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Is Kevin and Miss Lights immediately started running away from the game. It turns out both of them wanted each other dead now. But Miss Lights started running in the other direction. Peachy then dropped Kevin a diamond sword. But they had their security under control and they both were sent back to Glass Bridge. No, oh my, no, 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 no. Now, no. the Glass Bridge I've been proud of you all. I am. You've done so well. You'll all make a, a terrific journey on this bridge. You'll make, you'll make, you'll go the distance. I don't know how far it goes. I just know that it keeps going for a while. I'll be proud of you. I will. Is Kevin was first in line because as we saw on the previous day, he is player number one. This is literally a life and death decision. Will it be left or right? The clock is ticking. Oh, oh, oh my god, here he goes. Oh my god, he made it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Yep. What is going on here? Carl, what is this? It's just a game. A game? Hey, uh, uh stop what you're doing. D don't move. Carl, what? explain to yourself. Look, what is look, this? Some, look, some look. sort of bridge? This it's... looks like a death trap. Listen, my name is Ish, and I am the head of security here at Ghost Star Lines, and under my authority, I am removing Carl Crafts from Wait. this facility. Wait. Wait. I will lead Carl Crafts off this ship. Come on. Carl, yes, this sir. is enough. Yes, Things are about to get very interesting. After all Carl accomplished, he would never return. But he did promise that there was one more game, but that there was simply no instructions this time. Everyone was in shock, and they were thrilled because they thought this meant freedom. New prison management was coming in fast, but players were revolting quickly. A player by the name of It's Ghost, who runs Ghost Star Lines, was attempting to calm everyone down. But right as he thought he had them, the unthinkable happened. Wait, what? Hey, 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 Hello! Get missed! Get missed! Let's go, Doobin! Let's get out of the ship! But right as they were trying to find their way out of the prison, water emerged. Oh, 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 we gotta get out! It's sinking! Oh, 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 no, Ship's no, no, sinking, no, no, guys! Laundry room! We gotta go up to, uh... The Titanic security is blocking them off! Oh my god, this is nuts. This guy literally doesn't care, he's just sleeping. Oh jeez, I think he's in trouble now. Looks like this guy's trying to save some people. The water is rising quickly. He better hurry up. It turns out the reason Pepperano is swimming so far down is because he's trying to save people's lives.
need to do is start I'm drowning in fire Ooh, I'm drowning in fire I'm in the captain's oh, ship know. only oh. Yo, let's go Yes Let's get out Oh my god Ah Freedom! Let's go recreate that one moment in that one movie. Oh, Let's go to the scene! We can get to the front. <laughs> okay, it's so fine. let's take a screenshot of this, okay? I'm on top of the world! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Kinda iffy is only letting first class go. There's not enough boats for everybody. <laughs> They're definitely not too happy about this. Oh, they're attacking! Oh, I'm drowning in the fire. Ooh, I'm drowning in the fire. Oh, I'm drowning in the fire. Ooh, I'm drowning in the fire.